After more than 100 days, many Peruvians can't afford to stay indoors any longer, despite the spread of the coronavirus. It's not yet clear if quarantine restrictions will be lifted formally next week, but for many, it's already ended. Shopping malls reopened earlier this week and businesses want to get back to work. We have to activate the economy little by little and 5,000 people work here when the mall is working at 100% capacity. For millions, the restrictions have left them homeless, hungry and jobless. Extreme poverty is rising as COVID-19 infections and deaths multiply. But social pressure and what looks to be one of the region's deepest recessions have forced Peru's government to change course. The message during the pandemic has been stay at home. Now, opening up the economy with people returning to work or informal activities, we have another message. Put your health first. With more than 2.2 million COVID-19 cases in Latin America, Peru ranks second only to Brazil. But experts say both countries are undercounting the number of deaths. Scientists and doctors say lifting restrictions will mean a spike in cases. Our economy is under siege and because of that uh, the government has decided to, to slowly open up. Uh, we thought slowly but it's actually taking place very fast and we have not even controlled the epidemics. So uh, the virus is out there, contagious is growing and we're already going out in the streets. And without a proper program of massive testing, we will not be able to control the situation. But some economists argue the recession, with a 40% drop in economic activity in April compared to 2019, could have an even greater impact than the virus. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.